just start and improve along the way. Being prepared is good, but being so prepared that you never actually do the thing that you're preparing for is ineffective. So you're watching these videos and you're making all these plans of all these things you wanna do. And you're thinking about it and you're thinking, if I had this camera or if I had that lighting or if I had a really nice studio or a really nice location, then I would be doing all the things that I'm preparing for. Maybe you're doing music and you're working on that project and you wanna put it out, but you feel like you need a certain director to film your video or you need certain things before you can really get to the level that you wanna be at. Maybe you're thinking, if only I had the money to promote my project the way I wanted to or you know throw certain shows or go to certain places and do certain things but all of that is holding you back from doing the thing that you're supposed to be doing it's holding you back from putting out those videos and putting out your project and promoting yourself the way you're supposed to be promoting yourself and that is why you have to just start and improve along the way. Now you're probably thinking, everybody says that. Everybody says, well, just start, just start today. But the reason why everybody says that is because it's true. You have to just start. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my reasons for why you really do have to just start and improve along the way. And the first reason is this, it's never gonna be perfect. You're not gonna be perfect. In fact, you can't be perfect. You're not gonna be your best at the beginning because you're at the beginning. You haven't gone through the experiences that are gonna bring you to your best. So you can't even be your best at the beginning. After you've started, and after you're doing the thing that you wanna do, you're gonna pick up experience along the way that's gonna allow you to improve. And that's gonna make you get better and better. And you can't get to the level that you wanna to get to without going through those experiences. So let's say you just started making videos. The level that you're at at video one is not gonna be the same level that you're at at video 100. By video 100, you'll probably have picked up a lot of different experience. You'll probably have refined your skills. You've gotten better at speaking. You've gotten better at filming. You've gotten better at picking locations. You've gotten better at everything. It would be nearly impossible to be as good at the beginning as you are after you've had lots and lots of experience. So you have to accept that it's okay to not be perfect, but that you're on the road to getting better and to improving. And that brings me to my next reason why you wanna start now and improve along the way. Because it's not just okay to have faults, it's actually a benefit to have faults. When you accept that you're gonna start and improve along the way, you accept that, yeah, I'm starting now, but I have some faults. You see, your faults are really challenges. They give you something to work towards and something to improve. Your faults are what people wanna see. Your faults are what people relate to. Your faults are the things that people can point to and say, oh my God, look, he came from here all the way over to here. He improved on this. He grew here. He did this. See, that's, that's what draws people in and what makes people wanna become a fan of you. Imagine a story with no challenges and no obstacles to overcome. It'd be a pretty boring story. Without those holes that you need to fill, without those improvements that you need to make, you'd have nothing to strive for. So it's not about being perfect and not having faults. It's about identifying your faults, accepting them, and then attacking them. Attacking your faults so you can overcome that challenge that's gonna get you to your destination. Whether that be improving your speaking skill when it comes to making videos, or improving the quality of your music, maybe that means improving your marketing and, and how you tell your story and how you get your music out there. You should be aiming to find the areas of improvement so that you can continue to build on them. And that brings me to my final reason, which is you need to fall in love with the process because you can control the process, but you can't control the results. So you can control whether or not you hone your craft. You can control whether or not you get up and go shoot that video that you're supposed to shoot. You can control whether or not you get in the gym every day. You can control whether or not you go to the studio and you work on the records that you need to work on so that you can continue to get better and better. Now, for the most part, you can't control the results. You can influence them a little bit. You can come up with certain plans and certain things that you want to accomplish, but ultimately you have no idea what the results are gonna be. But when you fall in love with the process, you're not hindered by the results. You see, you may get the outcome that you want right away but you may not. You may have to continue to work at it and work at it until you finally get to that level where you get the outcome that you truly want. But what's gonna get you there is focusing on the process. 
doing the work that you need to do in order to get the results that you want to get, but not being so clouded by the results that it impedes you from doing the work. If you want your YouTube channel to truly blow up, first you got to fall in love with making great videos. If you want to be the next hottest artist out, first you got to fall in love with making and promoting great music. You gotta fall in love with the process because the process is what you can control. And if you focus on the process and putting in the work that you're supposed to put in, then it will get you the results that you want. So you have to start today. Do it today. Don't put it off. Don't wait any longer. Don't procrastinate. Start today. Do it today. So those are my reasons why you have to just start and improve along the way because it's never gonna be perfect. Your faults are actually a benefit and you have to fall in love with the process because the process is what you can control. So if you got some value from this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment process so I know you saw it. Let me know about something that you just started and decided, you know what, I'm just gonna improve along the way. I know I may not be perfect in this moment, but I'm gonna start today and I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna improve along the way.